Something new in the latest beta release of Avast Antivirus. When you are about to install the program, if you choose just the big install button, all the default selected items will automatically be installed. If you choose custom, you are presented with a selection of what can be installed. By default, everything is pre-checked. And that is what would be installed if you chose the default install. Something new that's been added, a selection of what to install. You can choose minimal protection. And if you choose that, you notice only the file shield and the web shield are installed. Everything else is unchecked. Recommended, of course, pre-checks everything. The third option is called custom protection and this is where you get to make the choice of what you'd like installed. I use nothing but online emails so I don't need the mail shield. I also don't use the cleanup portion and I don't need safe price. Everything else is what I plan on installing. But this is a nice little feature for those who just want minimum protection. It's a quick way to install it and not have to go back afterwards. Let's go through the install. As you can see, Avast requires a reboot for the new install to become active. Also new in this latest beta release from Avast, under Settings, there's a new section called Components. When you open it, you'll notice here it lists all of the components that were part of the install. If you recall, I elected not to install MailShield. And if I've changed my mind through here, I can simply install the component. If I decide one of the other components that were installed that I had selected, and I may not want it, I have several choices. Under the software updater, it's currently running. I can use Customize and I can make changes in what it checks and what it looks at. The other thing that I can do, let's expand this. It's currently turned on. I can turn it off by just simply sliding this over. I can also uninstall the component. That's certainly a lot easier than having to go to Control Panel, Programs and Features, selecting Avast, selecting Change, and then going through that process to remove the item. And this is another nice feature, makes it easier for us to use the product. Stay safe, be free, I hope this helps.